Okay, so if your washing machine, or any motor for that matter, is tripping the electric, it could be because the insulation on the uh, rotor or the windings is wearing down. So I'm just going to test at 200 volts, 250, and then at 500 volts, the windings to earth. And it should tell you if the uh, insulation is okay. So I think I've got the leads in properly. I'll turn it on. Nope, so the machine's telling me I've got them in the wrong leads. So that's it. So I'm going to put one, the positive side, it doesn't matter which side really, but I'm going to put the positive side in the winding connection. I'm going to make sure I'm on 200 volts. I'm going to start off at 200 volts, so if there is a problem, you ain't going to cause any more damage. So that's at 1000 volts, you don't want to do that. So 250 volts. I'm going to test it to the chassis of the motor. From the winding to the chassis of the motor. So greater than 200 mega ohms at 250 volt. We'll do all three windings. You don't want to be touching the chassis when you're doing it, otherwise, you get a little shock. So greater than 200. Last one. Greater than 200. So I'll do them all again, but this time at 500 volts, just to make sure it should be greater than 500 now. Yep, greater than 500 mega ohm. And again on the second winding. And again on the third winding. I'll just shut them leads out though and show you what a bad, a really bad short circuit would look like. Obviously you get no insulation resistance. I'll put them really close together. Still at greater than 500. Now, well, that's how you test your motor anyway.